That's yeah. crazy. There's boat rides, there's Ferris wheels. Like, I know like, why it exists. Oh, it's, it's so just... fun. What's up, P Nation? We are at Myrtle Beach. This is our new home. We're going to live here for the next two months, and we are so excited to show you our new city. So we're here in Myrtle Beach. Technically, we're staying in North Myrtle Beach, which mm -hmm. is quite a bit a ways away mm -hmm. from Myrtle Beach. It's a little quieter. So we're here in the real Myrtle Beach to explore what there is to do. We don't really have a plan for today. We're just here like trying to figure out what Myrtle Beach is all about. The last time I was here, I think I was like seven years old with mm -hmm. my family on vacation. And yeah, we're just trying to figure out what Myrtle Beach is all about. Let's go explore. It's like a really interesting vibe. We've been in coronavirus lockdown for a long time and to come out and see people on a Sunday interacting and eating at restaurants outside on the boardwalk just feels so weird. Yeah. Well, we've been cooped up in respective states, mm -hmm. like away from each other for a long time. So it is really strange to be doing something normal, <laughs> you know, like that you would expect people to be doing yeah. during summer. Yeah. And I like their boardwalk. It's not as nice as the one in Maryland or Ocean I know. City video. Well, that's what we own. The only thing we have it to compare it to, well, that's right? That's just where you live, so that's all I know. Yeah, but it is really cool. I like how it's kind of like in a pattern. It's not just regular planks, mm -hmm. but I do like the Ocean City one a lot. Yeah, I would definitely recommend shoes. You could definitely get splinters. So the tricky thing with being on the East Coast right now at the beach is that this is kind of prime hurricane season. And maybe three weeks ago now, a hurricane went through, and it thankfully it didn't really like hit Myrtle Beach or the coast that badly but it might interrupt our stays while we're here. So there's some hurricanes out there a brewing. But I don't know, the, the beach here is really, really nice. It's really family friendly just because like the sandbar goes out so far. And that's a really big difference between South Carolina beaches and Maryland beaches because it's more of like a steep drop off in Maryland. And the fact that they have actual dunes here. Like in Ocean City, you can't find dunes on the boardwalk at least. It's just interesting to have like such a commercial boardwalk type of feel next to next to a natural setting so it's kind of interesting even though it's like it's pretty beachy it's pretty grimy beachy it's like exactly what you think Myrtle Beach would be like And this boardwalk that we're walking on is really unique. I've never seen something like this. It really gives people in wheelchairs accessibility to the beach. You don't have to actually get on the sand, but you can feel like you're here. Yeah, and it's kind of like, it's not like a boardwalk boardwalk. Mm -hmm. It's just like a pathway off the dunes. And it's really, really nice. Taking it down the road, we're trying to go to a boardwalk, baywalk, I don't really know what it is, but let's check it out.
now we've been transported into a different world. I don't even know where we are. It's like theme park that's free, but also like there's all these shops and different places that are really random and super yeah. touristy, and I love it. I'm so excited. I'm all about this stuff. Leah? I am not loving it. But I, I can appreciate it for what it is. This is just what I want Myrtle Beach to be like. Super touristy. There's helicopters yeah. flying over every 10 minutes because they're all sightseeing helicopters. Like that's yeah. crazy. There's boat rides. There's Ferris wheels. Like I know there's, why like, it exists. Oh, it's, it's so just... fun. We're gonna try and find a candy store because everything's open in South Carolina for some reason. I have no idea why. But hopefully we get some gummy bears. <laughs> yeah, so we made it to one of my favorite candy stores. I haven't even gone like that far. And I'm gonna get one of each gummy bear. It's gonna be amazing. That smells really good. You know, Strawberry. Energy. It's more like sugar. Cherry. Peach. It smells so really close so to Georgia. Good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Good for both of us. Oh, okay. So we need more than two of pink grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry, another classic. Yeah. What's the difference between strawberry and cherry? Good. Get more. Doubling down on blue raspberry. Mango, taking us back to Thailand. I think this is the last flavor. I'm so sad. It's a candy pizza and it's only $5. It's so cute! Oh my gosh. And it doesn't taste good though. Yes, Southeast Asia's favorite. I can't even believe this is a thing. It's a whole box. You get 12. Now we made it out of here. I've been looking for these gummy bears. They have them in Texas, but every place is closed. For some reason, you can self serve in South Carolina. I don't really know why, but. Just to disclose, we spent like $5 on this, this many gummy bears. Oh, they're so good. Orange cream circle is my favorite. It's not even. It's because they're specialty flavor that we did it. Mm. What's your favorite? I don't know. Which one? I'm excited for the grapefruit. Mm. I feel like we're literally kids in a candy mm. store. Like we're like so excited to eat gummy bears. Okay, now this energy drink one. I don't know what that means. Do you have so much energy? No, it tastes like an energy drink's supposed to taste. Or at least they here. I've never actually had one. But everyone tells, says, everyone tells me they taste like what you don't want to drink in the morning. I don't know what that means. <laughs> The grapefruit didn't taste like grapefruit. It's pretty disappointing. But overall, great buy. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for watching us eat gummy bears. We are pooped after that day. So final thoughts on Myrtle Beach. Very touristy. But like the beach itself and the boardwalk is a lot of fun. The Broadway walk is a little too much for me, but Zach loved it. I am so excited to live here and find <laughs> all the unique little spots. It's gonna be amazing.